The Imperial Sovereign Protectors are the most elite of the elite of the Royal Imperial Guard, acting as their supreme commander with authority superseding even Darth Vader and second only to the Emperor himself. These fierce warriors are unmatched in martial prowess, capable of entangling with Jedis and powerful opponents like them. The Captain General of the Custodes is the highest rank in the Custodian Guard, who leads the innermost 300 Custodes, the personal guard of the Golden Throne, and the Emperor himself, and holds near supreme command of who can meet the Emperor on his Golden Throne. To, f to follow this painting guide, you will need blood red speed paint, silver ink, black legion, lead belcher, gray knight steel, hardened leather, and blue gun metal. Hello everybody, my name is Spoons Rattling, and welcome to another video in my painting S Star Wars Warhammer series, this time with the Captain General of the Custodians, Trajan Valoris. This is mainly going to be showing how I paint my HQs using the color scheme in my last painting Star Wars and Warhammer video. And we're starting off the exact same way of painting all of the armor with silver ink. This may take two coats, but will result in a brilliantly shiny metal. It's truly one of my favorite paints, and I use it quite extensively here even after the base coating step. Again, as I said, it may take two coats, but it is worth it to get the even coverage you need. Just get this over all the metal, including his face and any fingers that may be poking out. You can also start to dry brush the cape black. This is to help with uh, slap chop. You can see me here picking out the highest details with a slightly lighter gray than how I dry brushed the first gray. From here, we are going to move on to uh, the next step, which is going to be applying the red. Here you can see what the silver looks like when it's fully applied. Now for the red, I thought I'd try and use an airbrush, but we'll see. Yeah, no, that went terribly. Anyways, after doing it properly, you can see all of his face plates exposed, as well as the picked out the weapons details. I forgot to paint the halo above his head, but just paint that red the same way you do everything else. From there, the next step is going to be uh, fixing any other mistakes you may have made with an airbrush, like someone like me. As you can see here, me finishing the red by painting the uh, eagle and uh, halo upon his armor. I'm not exactly sure what the word for that is, but it's a rather simple step, but of course, I'd say rather necessary to complete this look. Now looking at the Imperial Sovereign Protectors, you can see that they wear mainly red with black sort of arms, pants, and usually their torso. I've ignored the torso part for this, as I feel having the red there, given how extensive his robes are, is relatively important. You can also see I did some light uh, customization here. I gave him a custom head of Darth Revan from the series uh, Knights of the Old Republic, if I'm not mistaken. Here you can see me using Black Legion to pick out his metal faceplate, which is just the lower half. You can look back at the start of the video to see why only the first half gets it. And I'm also using this Black Legion to fix any mistakes, like you can see, there's still some red on his boot there, and for the rest of his cloaks. I also apply this to the hoods and the cape. Here you'll see me applying it to the cape. And like most contrasts, you can apply this in one thick coat. And with Black Legion, you don't have to be nearly as neat, because it's so deep, it's such a deep dark black that any slight mistakes, like accidentally messing up the surface, doesn't lead to it being too noticeable. This is truly one of the best black pants I've ever used. It just applies so nice, and you really don't have to worry about it being patchy at all because it just goes on so smoothly. Now, you can see me using Grey Knight's steel here, which is a slightly bluish steel, to pick out his uh, axe head on the Watcher's Axe, which is his signature weapon. Now, I also used this for, I believe, the tip of his bolter, though I, this has been recorded in advance. This paint is quite interesting. You can see I also used it for the moment shackle and the key on his uh, belt. I'm not sure what that key is for, but he's certainly got it. From there, you're almost done. I used uh, a regular lead belcher to pick out the mechanical bits on his gun, such as his magazine and the barrel of his bolter. I also moved on from here to using the blue gun metal from Vallejo to pick out any other details on his axe, we'll see here soon, but you can see me here doing some very light highlighting on his hood. Uh, you see I also made a slight mistake by getting it on his forehead, but that's an easy enough fix. I mainly focus this on very noticeable areas, like some raised parts of his, ho of his uh, hood, of his coat, and on his gauntlet where the lion head is. 
You can see it applies quite bright, but it will dry quite dull, as gray over black tends to do, and helps increase readability, which is one of my main tenets when painting models. And you could honestly leave it here if you so desired, it's quite a fitting centerpiece. But I did want to paint some slight electric effects, as we're going to see here, using a gunmetal blue from Vallejo. I tapped it to this node and then started to drag out lines that were slightly too thick, but, you know, live and learn. I was just trying out the technique for the first time. And then you're just going to want to do this all over the tip of the axe. Here you can see the time lapse of me doing that. I did this on both sides, of course, and I also edge highlighted the tip of the blade with this blue to sort of represent it surging towards the edge of the blade. From there, this is just about done. I also painted the tube on the moment shackle there, and I also fixed the mistake I made on the top part of his helmet. You can see from here that we're just about done. I believe there's just a last few things we have to pick out, such as doing his basic materials, fixing that mistake on his forehead. Again, I leave in mistakes occasionally just to show that obviously it's okay to make mistakes, and you can fix them. And here's how the captains look in my custodians. I think it's quite a slick look. My name's Spoons Rattling. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you all next time.